You may be considering purchasing a robot vacuum, but not quite sure what budget to spend. Now in this video, we're gonna be looking at one of the most cost-effective robot vacuums against one of the most premium and luxurious. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, you may be able to get an exceptional deal. At the moment for Prime Day, they are absolutely incredibly priced as shown on screen. I will leave the very latest price link in the description for you. Okay, so the two robot vacuums are very similar in a lot of ways and different in other. The basic functions of them perform in the same way. They collect the dust in a bin and they also mop the floor, but they do it slightly differently. The Omni X1 on the left has two mopping pads which will rotate and scrub the floor. It will then clean itself and dry those mopping pads. Whereas the N10 has the pad which is removable, you can throw it in the washing machine and it's supplied by the water tank in the rear. The Omni X1, which is the premium version, has its own base station. This is where you have the clean water tank, the dirty water tank, and an accessory kit. Here, the robot will go back to, it will empty the dust automatically, it will also empty the dirty water and refill with clean water, it will also clean those mopping pads and also dry them with hot air. The setup process on both of these robot vacuums is so straightforward, I'll go through it in just a few seconds. But let's first of all have a look at the cheaper version now. The Omni X1 is the more luxurious, and now this is the N10 D-Bot. So now this is far more simpler. As you can see, it doesn't take up as much space, and I'll give you an example of that in a second. The mopping pad goes on the bottom, the two brushes clip into place, and then it just sits against its base station. Once you've turned it on and you've scanned the QR code, you're ready to set up the app and we'll show you that in just a second. There is also a little cleaning brush and a little hair cutter tool, just in case you get any tangles. It has the dust bin, which needs to be manually emptied, but other than that, it is so simple to operate and it's ready to go. It has a water tank which pops into the back and this then feeds water onto that mopping pad, which when, then will mop the floor. Once you've got it all set up, you're ready to go. But let me give you an indication, first of all, of the difference in size. This is the N10 compared to the Omni X1. N10, Omni X1. So as you can see, there is quite a bit of size difference between the two. So you do need to think about your space before you start. You set up both of these vacuums by scanning the QR codes and then following the app instructions. It really is very straightforward. The first thing to do is send it to auto map. Now this is where it will create a map of your space and it's incredibly accurate. It uses the LiDAR sensor on the top and it detects all of the different obstacles. It goes right around the whole edge of the room. It really is impressive. When you've created your map, you can then select different areas and choose which sequence in order to clean. You can do one area first and then followed on by the second or vice versa. You can also set different locations as different rooms. This is helpful if you want to link it with a smart assistant and you can then tell it to go and clean a certain room. Another feature which I really like within the app, which again is very simple to use, is that you can determine how many times it cleans and set things like suction power and also water flow level. Now I definitely recommend to set it going around the room twice because then if it misses anything on the first run, it will always pick it up on the second. You can also just set custom areas to clean and it's very simple to do. You get a box, you drag it to the size and shape that you want and then you just set it to go. And then the robot vacuum will clean just that area. Now this is ideal if you've had a spill for instance. Whatever cleaning function you're doing, you'll see the progress of the mop in the app. And as that's dictated by the line, you can see that it's covering all of the areas. So how well did this D-Bot N10 do? Well, I was incredibly impressed. With the mopping pad on the back, it does a pretty good job. Now, it's obviously not gonna be good as the Omni X1. However, with the two brushes and its navigation system and its detection of obstacles, it really was incredibly thorough in everywhere that it went. It also handled obstructions really well. This is it navigating its way around my sofa leg and literally it got right up close and didn't miss anything around it. Now, I really have a big test for this now, and that's my dining room table and the chairs. As you can see, these chairs are metal, they've got these horrible bars, and normally a robot vacuum would get stuck on these. Now, I have to say, it did struggle at times, but because there's so much tolerance in those wheels and the grip on them, it did end up freeing itself every single time. I was incredibly impressed. So the mopping test that I did was just a spill on the floor and just one go over it, it basically removed it completely. 
Now here it is in an obstacle avoidance test against the X1 Omni. And again, I was surprisingly impressed with the N10. Now, both of these vacuums will struggle if the laces of the shoe have been left out, but if there's just things lying around, then they do tend to avoid them very well. Now, I have to say the X1 Omni does do a better job because it's got the cameras and it's got the extra sensors. But definitely don't think that if you get the N10, then it's going to be completely rubbish at this because, again, I was really impressed. It did take longer to avoid and it did take longer for the routine to finish, but it ended up doing it and did avoid all obstacles pretty well. Okay, so now let's see the differences that you'll get and the extras that you'll get if you go for the X1 Omni. So without a doubt, the Omni has extra suction power. It's 5,000 pascals of suction compared to 4,300 on the N10. And that is definitely noticeable when this thing is operating. Now we've already covered off the base station, which is a big part of it. However, if you did go for the N10+, Plus, then you can get a similar type base station, although it's not quite as smart, with the N10. The other features that I think are just incredible on the Omni are the navigation, the cameras, and the obstacle detection, which we've already shown you. And obviously, with the mopping function, it does a far better job of mopping. Now, this is slow motion. You can see the brushes in action, gathering in all of the dust. But as the mop comes around, you can see that that is really scrubbing the floor. And in the app, you've got extra functions where you can have it as a light mop or a heavy mop, and also determine the amount of water that goes onto the mop. Now, with the base station, obviously, this is an all-in-one cleaning system, so you don't have to ever worry about changing those mop pads. It will go back, it will clean them, and it will dry them. Couple those features with the auto-emptying of the dustbin. This means this is a, really a do-it-all thing that you can forget about and you can just set up to turn on. I did notice with the mopping function that it definitely leaves a little bit more water on the floor, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because it just means it's doing the job properly. And you can have it set to a light scrub if you're finding it's leaving a little bit too much. This obviously works well on carpet as well, although it's recommended that on both machines you remove the mopping pads. It will detect things like carpet and rugs and work around them if you've got the mopping function on. This also has a incredible feature which has got video, live video to your device. You can voice call your robot and you can also send it on a home patrol to make sure that everything is right at home while you're away. Now, from anywhere in the world, you can also set waypoints for this to go to. It will remember certain points on the map. You can just select one of those points to do a home patrol. We'll just go and check that everything's okay. Make sure a door's been shut, for instance, is an ideal scenario. So here, it will just go to the location. It will then have a look around. And then if you want to, you can take a photograph, take the video, and then just send it back to its base station when you're finished. This thing is just ridiculous. The Omni X1 also has voice assistant built in, and this is where you can command it to go clean a certain area or even to track your voice and come to the area where you are. With the 3D recognition technology, it will detect furniture as well, and you can create 3D maps. This way you can put the furniture where it is, you can send the robot to then clean underneath certain furniture, and you can look in and zoom in around where it goes. There's also smart functions where you can set it to how hard it cleans, how much mopping it does, and also you can schedule cleaning as well, which again is a great feature. So some of the main features for both of these, now believe me this is not exhaustive, but these are really my favourite features. Obviously with the X1 Omni it has the mop and vacuum self-emptying and self-cleaning feature, which is a huge advantage. That extra suction power that you're also getting as well is impressive and it's definitely noticeable. If you are going to be using the 3D and true mapping technology, then that might be a feature that you really enjoy. And with that voice control, this is going to be great for people that just want to command it and don't necessarily or aren't very good at using an app. The mop clean hot air drying feature. This eliminates odors quicker and it makes sure that you're not sat there with a wet mop. And obviously the auto emptying and refill of the water and the dust is just, well, it's beyond good. Now the live video feature, I don't think you'd use it on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's definitely having that home patrol is great if you want to just quickly send it around the room or the house while you're away. Now with the N10D bot, and again, I cannot stress how impressed I am with this, 
it definitely performs better than the price difference. Both the, the mopping and the vacuum do a really good job on light to medium dust and also dirt. Although the suction power is slightly reduced, it definitely still does a great job. And you've still got that smart feature with the 2D home map generation with the advanced LiDAR navigation system. Both models will detect carpet and it will work around things like rugs. And with the N10D bot and both of these, you also get an antibacterial filter in the dustbin. Now, I don't necessarily think there's any negatives with either of these, but there's just a couple of things that you need to be aware of. I've got all hard floors in my house, and so therefore either one of these are perfect. Having the mop and the suction brush is definitely very, very good. If you've got a house where there's a mixture of hard floors and carpet, well then this won't go over carpet with the mopping pads installed. And so therefore you would need to do one room at a time and then you'd need to remove the mopping pads. So that's something which may just be a little bit of a frustration to some people. However, what I would say is that most people don't mop their house every day. So therefore having the mop pads removed and just doing vacuuming all of the time, then that will clear up most of the mess. And then when you want to do a mop, you just pop the pads on and then you can send the mop out. You also need to think about where you're going to be storing your device because it does take up a fair amount of space, certainly the Omni X1. The N10 is actually so small it will fit underneath furniture, underneath the cabinet, and it won't really cause any issues. So both of these robot vacuums, I think, are fantastic. They both offer incredible technology and... More importantly, they do do a great job. I've got a dog, as you may have seen in this video, and clearing up dog hair, just sending this around hoovering once a day, definitely helps with the upkeep of the property. So if you're in the market, my friends, for a robot vacuum, then depending on your budget, I would say do not worry if you've only got a limited budget, then the N10 is incredible. But if you can afford to splash the cash and maybe you're a little bit lazy like me and you don't want to have to empty it yourself manually, then go for the Omni X1. That's my thoughts, my friends. Thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next.